Hey guys, so been on a bit of a Raspberry Pi kick lately. I've known about these things for years and then recently someone stood up talking to me about them again. So I started checking them out and man, they're just, they're just awesome. It's a lot of fun to tinker with. Um, I've seen a lot of videos online of people taking like a Raspberry Pi Zero and uh, stuffing it in a old NES cart, in a Nintendo cart. Um, the general instructions seem to be, you know, four port uh, USB hub, some adapters for the plugs and all that fun stuff. And, you know, I searched on YouTube and I didn't really see anybody doing them with old Atari carts. There was one video with somebody that started to do it with a Raspberry Pi 2, which he said his video was part one and I never saw part two so I guess uh, he realized that it was too big and just wasn't going to happen and then there was another one that did a video another person that did a video on an Atari cartridge and it was just you know they had the plugs coming out of the sides and it just um, I don't know seemed a little messy but it was uh, it worked for what it was so here's my crack at it video pinball and these stickers they come off real easy with a blow dryer heat them up with a blow dryer and they'll peel right off as you can see it didn't stick back very well so um, I plan on taking it off again anyway there's a little screw in the center right here you screw that little guy out and then on the inside you have this little thing right here. There's actually a spring in there, and when um, you stick something there, it triggers the latch. This will push back and expose the um, will expose the actual game board. Um, well, let's crack this baby open and see what it looks like. Let me see where am I going to put my phone? All right, well, I had to loosen it up. So, after you take that screw out and you pop, you push that little guy in, you push this little thing in, you can then get your hands in there and pop this thing open, crack it right open. It's a little tough, but uh, you can get it. And there you go. Raspberry Pi is just kind of sitting in there. Um, it fits so snug with this wire from the uh, four port USB hub that it presses down on the Pi and keeps it still without really smashing it or crushing it or anything. Um, what could I do to make this better? Well, I would like to be able to have just the cart like this and not have all kind of wires hanging out of it um, but they're so small you just don't have the room to work with if I could get a nice if I could get a little extension for the uh, if I could get a little extension for the HDMI that would stop about here <laughs> boy that would be perfect but uh, as it stands right now it's just the wires kind of hanging out of the front. Um, this one is where I stick my Wi-Fi, and then here's the other two for the paddles. Then, yeah, and it worked out pretty good, I guess. Here's the... This is the four-port USB hub that I used from Walmart. It was $11, but... I had those $6 ones from Amazon on order. I just couldn't wait, so I went and bought this. So six, six, uh, $11, and that's the case that it came in before I gutted it. So $11, $5 for the Raspberry Pi, um, this HDMI cable. It actually came with micro and mini adapters on the end. I think that was like 15 bucks at Walmart or something like that. So 15, 25, 
five for the pie well, shipping or whatever so let's just add another 10 bucks and for pretty cheap you got yourself a nice little nice little retro gamer stuffed in an Atari cartridge well and there you have it guys all put back together I tried to do I tried to cut and get that little um, a little guard back in here but you just I just had to cut it in so many places that it was falling apart and I would have had to like use all kind of glue and all that kind of stuff and it just would have made a mess so oh and um, this USB hub was actually screwed in so I was able to use the screws and hold it down and it's in there and it, I used a very little hot glue on each corner just you know for good measures but I really didn't need it so I have these screws here and the rubber feet from the USB hub I was able to take them off and stick them on here and now those screws don't even touch a table. I think one of them might be dragging, but you know, unfortunately the wires are hanging out. But the good thing about this is, like I said earlier, is this just pulls apart, just snaps apart. So you don't have to screw it back on or nothing. Here's my little Wi-Fi dongle. And you have two more ports open for controllers. There you go. There it is. Get a little more adhesive on there and it should stay. Video pinball. Video pinball raspberry pie. <laughs> Thanks for watching.